Okay. Welcome. And greetings, everybody. Folks of the Anglo Saxon, Germanic, Norse Laird, and the Adesaita. Uh, folks of Fame to Fensida. Brothers and sisters of a Klingus Half. And uh, folks of a Klingus Half. Uh, today's been a chill day. Again, I took my hunt for a walk around Batches Island in Connog and the park, local, aka the local park. A nice gentle walk. Done the right up for uh, Ayra Yule slash more than it's Kimbot. So I've done the right up for that, so that's going to be a good one. And uh, I wait the half blots for uh, Winter Phillip slash uh, Elf Blot. On Saturday, but tonight I come forth for another two chapters of the Have Now, and uh, yes, tomorrow oh, when I'm walking to town, there's a pendant that I uh, I quite like. Uh, it's in the style of the World Serpent. It's just it's just for fun. it's just because I like it really. It actually looks a lot like that, but obviously it's silver. And I thought I might as well get it because it's just, it's only it's only fifteen pounds. That's really cheap for a even pendant. So uh, I thought I'd go and get that tomorrow. I'll do my uh, daily walk as well. A bit of uh, my exercise of the week. I'm going on more walks now. Obviously, I'll uh, give up the gym. So yeah, that'll be good. I've now been paid. Without further ado, let's crack on. So. I'm not going to feel the sneeze come in, just bear with me. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, chapter 83 and 84, is that my right to think that? No, 94, sorry, bear with me, sorry about this. Ninety three, ninety four, and I've just dropped my heavy mail. That's not very good. Ninety three, ninety four. There's a hundred chapters in this thing. Here we go. Just uh, two seconds. <laughs> I ain't got uh, nothing by the way. I often have to clear my nose after I sneeze. Sorry about that. I ain't got nothing. Oh, I'm well over COVID, by the way. I've tested negative. Here we go. So, chapter 93 of the Havamel. As always, Bray, Form, Bellows. Anyone who watches my show regularly will know that Bellows is the outmost ancient tongue in modern English. Through to Bellows. Uh, well, from Bray and then Bellows uncovers it in the most standard and thought begins to break it down. So, here we go. Chapter 93. Never a wit should one blame another. Wome love hath brought into bounds, bonds, sorry. Oft a witching from will fetch the wise, which holds not the heart of fools. Thought puts it as, at love should no one ever wonder in another a, a betuous Contents oft captives the wise, should the captives not be the foolish? Bellows puts it as fault for loving, let no man find ever with any other oft the wise are fettered. Where fools go free, by beauty that breeds desire. So basically, what it's saying is, uh, you know. Fault of loving, it's basically you're being kind and uh, you know your intentions are good, you're doing the right thing, but you're the one that ends up in the sort of scenario where you're the one that ends up in trouble. And the one being foolish and naughty gets like, away with it, won't it? it a lot of these uh, quotes from the Havamal are well, warnings of what you'll come up against in life, and uh, they're all this is why it's so realistic. Woden has his ways of explaining in this book and uh, it's about this looks to me like it's getting at you know you're, you're a nice person 
you know, you have good ways. You're basically in and in what I call in and guard personality, uh, and you end up getting in trouble. And the uh, Hudson guard idiot gets away with it. Uh, basically, stating where fools go free. Uh, boy, beauty that breeds desire. Or it could also mean that the maiden that you're going for goes for the fool. That's like an idiot. And, uh, you know, you're the nice person that they take no interest in. Uh, well, Rick and S has covered this in a way. Basically, they always go for the Hudson Guard idiot. Because he tries to act more cool. Uh... So yeah, uh, I don't tell me this is a two part, I know it's not a skip, although it's stupid adverts man, there we go, but anyway, uh, when I said don't tell me this is a two part, so I meant more of the advert, they usually put about two, three adverts at a time on the YouTube now, it's just, it's just so ridiculous, but anyway, back to this. Uh, yeah, they go for the Hudson Guard fool. They like the modern culture. Uh, I'm not going into politics. Varg Vickerness actually done a video on this sort of behaviour, but he went very political on it. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. But uh, they they go for the modern Hudson Guard culture. That's how I can put it, and not for uh, someone of the for the manly warrior way as much as a new. You know, phase of the gender, there's a new way of culture in the modern day, and it's, it's not what completely what I believe in, to tell you the truth. I'm very, I like to believe myself, I can live modernly, but I am of the old ways, and I'm proud of that. And luckily, you know, my partner, thank the gods, accepts that, you know, because I still know how to live modernly, have a laugh modernly and do modern things, but I also know how to compare them to the ancient days. I believe most things in life uh, descend from something of an ancient source. That's how I like to see it. But anyway, chapter 94 of the Havamel. Same process again, we'll read for the free and uncover and discover it. Never a wit, so the one blame another. But a folly which many befalls. The might of love makes sons of men into fools who once were boys. Oh, I know what this is getting at. Let no one wonder at another's folly. It is the lot of many of many. All powerful desire makes one of the sons of men fools even of the boys. Fools, even of the boys. Faults with another. Let no man find for what touches many a man. Wise men often oft into wit, into witless fools are made by mighty love. So straight away I know where this is getting at. And it happens a lot with friendships, this one. Basically when they say, you know, the amount of people that have come to me and gone. How oh, his girlfriend's changed them. Well, sometimes that can actually be true. Depending on the person, I've known people change in relationships. I've also known people that are just as sociable with a partner. I've known all in all directions of my of my path. I'm sure all you guys have too. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I know exactly where this is getting at. The friendship modern way would uh, would be of putting it as bros before hoes. As they say in modern culture. Uh, some people can change the worst when they get a partner. And it can affect their family circle. It can affect their friendship circles. Uh, people can be better people for it also. Some people can be better off. Stronger for it. But sometimes I believe they're better off. But they're actually not. Uh, you know everybody knows this. When you get to the 
when you get to the point where you can have a relationship. I'd like to think I've always been good, me and my partner. Uh, and you know, I get loads of time with my friends and my family. We make time for each other and the balance we believe at the moment is just perfect. Uh, I haven't seen my partner in a couple of weeks, obviously having COVID and she's not been very well this week. But I will see her next week. But in the time she's been ill, I'm always with my family and my friends. So, yeah. Uh, we let each other do what we want. It's very good, but not everybody has that uh, social or, you know, relationship with their partners. And they can get, basically, uh, some people are... Uh, dominated or controlled what they call controlled by the uh by the maiden presence and that can corrupt them and they it can be, almost become a uh a form of uh maiden maiden indoctrination or slavery because they fear losing that maiden or partner as you could put it depending on what you're with and people fear losing the ones they love, so that it's almost like it gets to the point where they have to obey them because they're scared of upsetting them. This is bad, you know. You got to have that understanding of each other's ways in a relationship, and that's basically what Rodin's uh, getting at here. At the, this point, in the uh, have a he's, uh, he's covering a lot on uh, love and relationships. So that's uh, that's very good, and that's chapter 93 and 94 of the Half Mel. And uh, tomorrow will be 95 and 96 of the Half Mel. So hopefully, all being well, that'll go ahead once I uh, get home from work tomorrow. And now, all there is to say. Is where we have the honour to be, the wisdom to know, and the knowledge to care. As I foremost did, so shall we, what so how, drink how. And that's all from me, I me, or my Rich Nicholson. Bye for now. See you later, everybody.